Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are going to be unboxing my October subscription boxes. And I just noticed the one has like all the grass on it. Oh no. Um, I guess our long guy came and anyways. So I have the glam bag and BoxyCharm. And I think next month is Lux. I'm not sure. But I always love getting my subscription packages, unpackaging them with you, and then trying out the makeup, usually later on in a different video, only because I never know what I'm going to get nowadays. Sometimes I get eyeshadow palettes, sometimes I get all skincare, it just, it depends. So I figured I would unbox these with you today, see what we've got, and use them in a future video. Before we jump into it, you guys, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications of new videos, and if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. But if you want to see what I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag and my BoxyCharm for October, just keep watching. Before we get into the video, you guys, um, if you hear noise outside the window, it is the gas company. They finally, like they've been digging up everyone else's yards. They finally today are like, hey, by the way, and I'm like, can't tell you now. We probably want the updated lines. So if you hear that, that is what it is. And I had already planned on filming. So I was just like, you know what? We're going to go through it. We're going to make the best of it. I hope that you can't hear it. But if you do, that's what that is. All right. So I am going to start with the Ipsy Glam Bag. They usually just send it in an envelope. I like it because it doesn't just it, it's not wasteful, especially because there's usually a small makeup bag and then a couple sample size products. I do like the package, like it's beautiful rainbow colors. So cute. All right, in here we have a bag and then it's Glamoween season. All right, let's see. So this card does have the details for the items. The makeup bag is so cute. It's kind of a velvety feel and it's got red with like spider webs as lace and kind of looks like outlines of like lacy bats. Oh. I guess I could take the plastic off of this, but it is a little bat. That is so cute. All right, so in here we have usually five sample size products. Sometimes you get deluxe, sometimes you get just regular samples. Okay, first in here we have the Saturday Skin Apple and Peach Rise and Shine Gentle Cleanser. I think this is the one that I picked because we got a choice. So usually with Glam Bag, you get to choose one of your items. And with the glam bag, it doesn't usually tell you like what this retails for. It'll tell you what the large size. So full size version of that is $26. It's a cleanser. What else do you need? I actually have started to like sort my skincare by cleanser, oils, serums, all that stuff. So I'm going to put this into my cleanser drawer. And like as I run out in the shower, I can swap things in and out. And it, it's helpful because Luke will, he's noticing his skin is reacting differently when he doesn't use the same cleanser every single day. I'm like, I feel like I told you that. But he's using the different cleansers and his skin is looking much healthier, less acne prone. Next we have the Prelice Blush Glow BB Cheek Color. Full size retails for $18. And the shade is Cool Mauve. Let's see. Oh, it's kind of liquidy. It disappeared. Maybe I should shake it up. I do like Perlice. I have their BB cream that I really like, especially when I want something light because we're going to the beach or like somewhere that my makeup's going to kind of disappear. I'll just use the BB cream for, okay, that got a little bit thicker once I shook it. So shake yours and it won't be so liquidy. Ooh, that is really pretty. Very muted down. I'm not sure. I'll try it out. Maybe it's buildable, but it did dry down nicely. It just feels really smooth on the skin. So I'm interested. I did do cream blush today. I did this as like a TikTok get ready with me for work. So if you follow me on TikTok, that will be up here soon. But I've been using the cream products and like this would definitely be something that I add into like my morning routine for cream products. It just gives a healthy look to the skin and nothing too crazy and dramatic. We have the, from Avent, the Collagen Intense Radiance Activator Serum. That is a mouth pull. <sighs> I do like Avent. They have some great products. 
Full size is $109. Enriched with a blend of brightening and illuminating signature ingredients like niacinamide and collagen, the serum is designed to enhance your skin's radiance and promote a luminous, vibrant complexion. Morning and night, smooth onto the skin. I do like their products. I have used... I had one of their primers that I was using for a long time and I really liked it. It just kind of like hydrated the skin where I needed it. We have from Ciate Extraordinary BB Cream. I don't know if it's my right shade. It, it looks like it might be my tan shade. Full size retails for $26. That's not bad for a BB cream, especially from Ciate London. London. Gives your complexion a touch of coverage, perfect for those no makeup makeup days. Ingredients like hyaluronic acid and vitamins B3 and B5 offer serious hydration while vitamin E and jojoba oil help soothe. This might be good for work for like the days that I don't really wanna look like I'm wearing makeup. And then, and that said it's in shade 200. Last in here we have from Levito, Alert Eye Cream for all skin types. Full size retails for $49. Plant-based hyaluronic acid, nourishing properties of cold-pressed avocado, and pomegranate seed oils provide deep hydration and essential nutrients to your eye area. All right, so five products. I feel like uh, I got two makeup products and three skincare. That's a good combination. And I feel like I'm going to use quite a few of these. BB cream, it looks a little bit darker, but it does sheer out. Like, when you put BB cream on, usually it looks a lot darker and then it like blends in. So we'll see, we'll try it. And then we have BoxyCharm by Ipsy. Cause I don't think this is Lux. I think that's next, next month. So all the way at the bottom, yep, we have BoxyCharm Glamoline. All right, so let's see, does it have information? It looks like it, it has some of the details for the items. I think the other items I can get the details on their app. Okay, first up, this is from Ofra, Pianavitos of Miami. It's a mini max face palette. So this palette retails for $42. Ooh, okay. So there are two bronzers, two highlighters, and two blushes. I love their highlighters absolutely love the quality i've tried a couple other bronzers that i also do like and then mm, the blushes i don't know that i would do like purpley violet but it's worth a shot i'm excited for this i love their face products we have from biro celery aha and lha resurfacing serum this retails for 86 dollars and more expensive oh my goodness Okay, it's like a milky, like, green. It, I assume you're supposed to shake it. Okay, that, it's celery resurfacing. I'm interested to know what it smells like. Ooh, it's very refreshing. It doesn't smell like a celery stalk. Powerful yet gentle AHA and LHA resurfacing serum formulated with celery that effectively decongests for luminous, clear looking skin. You are supposed to shake it before you use it. Can be used daily. Okay. See, I usually do my makeup melt, I do a cleanser, I'll do a serum, eye cream, lotion. Or sometimes like a night mask that's supposed to stay on overnight if I need like intense hydration, which is in the winter. I use those quite often. So maybe I'll add this in. Like I also will switch out my serums based off of like how my skin is feeling. So I think I've got like two or three in rotation right now in the skincare fridge. We have from Rodile the dragon's blood hyaluronic drink hydrate and tone okay so if you use toners that would be between your cleanser and your serum which i use toners in the morning not usually at night it's not on here this is the beauty boost <laughs> that i selected this retails for 52 dollars let's see what does it say can i use it every day i tend to use toners just in the morning so i don't let's see Oh, even throughout the day to re-energize and refresh the look of skin. Okay. I've used a lotion for Dragon's Blood, like that one. So we'll try that out. We have TYS Beauty Cheek Treat. Juice Liquid Blush. Ooh, okay. Another one of those that I need to look on the app for. I guess I picked this one as well. I don't remember doing it. This is $22. 
Ooh, I like the packaging. It's very simplistic. And then even it's got like kind of a iridescent to holographic lid. Ooh, that looks like a shade I would go for. I do like the peachy tones. Ooh. It has a very like chemically scent. That I don't like when it's like super, like I don't like things that are overly perfumed, but then I also don't like them when they smell so much like the chemicals that are in it. Ooh, a little goes a long way. At least that's not on my face, but it feels really nice. It feels like it's kind of oily. I wonder like what the dry down is like. Ooh, two more products. I have the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0, which I love her lip contours. I have the shade Honey Beige. I do know that I want Honey Beige. I do like her lip though, or her, I do like her lip contours though. Does anyone else have a little dog that like has a weird complex about who's outside? Okay, come on. I hate destroying a package just to get a product out. Okay, so, it is a tan shade. I do like doing tans that are on like the pinky side. Cause then I also have the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Bombshell. Neither of those are on there. So let's find how much these cost. And see, I'm torn because Honey Beige is a pretty shade, but I tend to get rid of my tan and browns. If I use this, I can't give it away. I like the pinky brown though. I am gonna give this one away. As much as I wanna keep this because I like the lip contours, I'm not a huge fan of the shade. Let's just be realistic. I would rather give it away to one of you guys who probably would wear this. The liner retails for $21. So I'm gonna put this in the giveaway drawer and I'm gonna go order pinky brown because I ran out when I was in New York. I was devastated. I had enough for the last day. And then the liquid lipstick retails for $23. I feel like I had this in a mini. Let me look. Okay, I do not have this already. Thought I did, I have similar shades, but not in bombshell. Mmm, it smells like, is it vanilla buttercream and coconut? Like that's, that's what it smells like to me. All right, so I'm going to just right here. Yeah, this is definitely a color I'll keep. Ooh. But that lip liner didn't match it. So I'm gonna go ahead and order the new lip contour that I want, which is the pinky brown, one of my favorites. And then this, I will be reaching for this quite a bit. I love these type of shades. And her liquid lipsticks are so nice. You also wanna just make sure you shake them before you use them. Okay, you guys, let me total up this box and I will come back with a total. Okay, you guys, this box totaled up equals $246 and the membership is not that expensive. I pay $28 for BoxyCharm. So $28 and this box total $246. Some things I've used before and I know that I like the quality. Some things are new and I've never tried before. So I'm really excited because it's kind of a split. There are some makeup products and there's some skincare, kind of a 50-50 split this week or this month, but I'm not mad at it. I will add some of these things into my skincare rotation. The Lip Contour 2.0 is in the giveaway drawer. And that's it for this video. Now you guys, before you leave, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Until my next video, you guys, bye. And I'll see you in the next one.